Pluto TV versus Tubi. Which free streaming service is worth your time? While both are ad-supported TV options, each features slightly different content. They're also the most popular and well-known free streaming platforms. Pluto currently has about 70 million active monthly users, and Tubi has about 51 million users. In this Tubi versus Pluto TV comparison, we explain what's the same and what's different about each, so you can decide which one you want to install and use. We'll start with what each app is best for, describe where they're available, and cover the channels on each. We'll touch on audio quality and video quality briefly, as well as commercials, and we'll show you what it's like to use each free streaming app. Let's start with Pluto TV. The Pluto app features more than 200 channels of live TV, though it's not live TV as we would typically think of it. It's better to think of it as providing curated streams of content that play around the clock with commercial interruptions. It has a wide variety of content from well-known channels like NFL Network and Fox Sports to CBS, NBC, Nickelodeon, and even Spanish language options. Pluto has some on-demand content, but its focus is on live TV. So what is Tubi TV best for? The Tubi app really is geared more toward on-demand content. That's why many people compare it to Netflix, calling it a free Netflix. It's owned by Fox, and it features more than 40,000 movies and TV shows from 400 different entertainment partners, including a growing collection of Tubi originals. And mixed in with the fluff are well-known titles and A-list movies. There are also exercise videos, travel shows, stand-up comedy specials, and a separate section for kids, and tons of categories to help you navigate all the titles. However, its live TV offering isn't as good as what Pluto offers. While its guide displays nearly 200 channels, about 100 of them are local news feeds. And like Pluto TV channels, Tubi features feeds of curated content that air around the clock. Now let's move on to where they're available, which is pretty much everywhere. Both are on Roku, Fire devices, smart TVs, web browsers, and basically anything that has a screen. Neither service requires creating an account to use. However, creating a free account with your name and email address provides features you can't enjoy without one. With Tubi, creating an account lets you add items to a watch list. With Pluto TV, having an account lets you mirror your experience across devices so that wherever you log into Pluto, you'll be able to see your favorited channels and saved items. You can also enable kids mode. Then only kid appropriate channels will appear. You can also set a pin number to protect the account and prevent kids from accessing inappropriate content. Speaking of channels, let's cover what's on each platform. On Pluto, you'll see channels for popular shows like The Amazing Race, Cop, CSI, and Star Trek. But you'll also see known networks like Fox Sports, the NFL Network, MLB, and BN Sports Extra. For news, you'll see curated streams from CBS, NBC, Cheddar, Bloomberg, CNET, and CNN. Kids' channels largely feature content from Nickelodeon, which is owned by Viacom CBS, the same company that owns Pluto TV. Tubi's channel list is more news-heavy and less compelling. Its sports and news offerings are similar to Pluto's, with the exception of more local Fox news stations. Now let's quickly talk about video and audio quality on these apps. PC Mag reports that a Pluto TV rep states that the video quality varies between on-demand and live content, but generally streams at sub-HD resolution and 30 frames per second across devices. In our testing, we did not experience any lag or buffering. For audio quality, Pluto streams in standard 2.0 stereo, so you're not going to get any Dolby digital sound here. But then again, it's free TV, so you have to adjust your expectations accordingly. Tubi streams in 720p and standard 2.0 audio quality. With both of these services, you're going to see shows just fine on tablets and computer screens. But the bigger size TV screen you stream on, the more you're going to notice the quality drop. Now, how about the commercials on these services? Just how bad are they? Well, Tubi says it runs ads of one to two minutes each about every 15 minutes. That bore out to be true during our testing, and it's really not that terrible. In some cases, it's better than some of what we've experienced on Hulu's ad-supported platform. However, there is no progress bar for the ads, which can be frustrating and annoying, and they can be repetitive, meaning you'll see the same ad multiple times. On Pluto, you'll have to sit through a good number of ads. In fact, during our testing, the ad load felt a little heavier than what we experienced on Tubi. Some shows under 30 minutes had only three and a half minutes of ads in them, while some 44 minute shows had 14 minutes of ads. Ads were less frequent in on-demand content. 
Like Tubi, there was no progress bar to tell you how much longer the ads would be, and they tended to be repetitive. Now let's wrap up with a look at the user experience for each service. When you launch Pluto, you'll see content in the top of the frame with a channel guide below. There are three tabs across the top, live TV, on demand, and search. Over in the top right is your profile where you can log in or create an account. In the top left is a three line hamburger menu. When you click it, you'll see the same options as are across the top and a bunch of information about Pluto TV. To the left of the guide are categories that Pluto organizes its channels into. You'll see featured, movies, entertainment, news, and opinion, crime, and more. You can click on anything in the guide to see more information about it or to add it to your watch list. You can click on any channel and click the heart icon to add it to your favorites list and have it display at the top of the channel guide. You cannot pause, rewind, or fast forward live TV on Pluto. The on-demand section is organized similarly to the live TV guide. You'll see categories of content on the left with your watch list at the top. Any items you favorite will be added to your watch list. On-demand content is organized in rows of tiles similar to Netflix on the right. Click on any tile to learn more about a show, watch it, see additional episodes, or add to your watch list. Use the search function to search for anything on the app. Now let's look at what it's like to use Tubi. Across the top are tabs to browse, Tubi Kids, Live TV, Search, and over on the far right, your profile icon, where you can create an account and access account settings. Clicking Browse brings up dozens of categories from popular, continue watching, and featured, to anime based on a book and black cinema. Over on the right, you'll see content organized by network, like A&E, Dove Channel, Fox, and FilmRise. Most of the content you'll see will be curated streams of somewhat random content, or in the case of news, highlighted stories rather than breaking updates. Sports content will be largely highlights and replays or opinion or documentary type shows. And while you might see some channels you recognize like the NFL Network, you won't get the live feed of the NFL Network channel. Rather, you'll get highlights, studio content, and original programming that has been curated for Tubi. Under account settings, you'll see parental controls, notifications, and history in my list. You can filter content by little kids, older kids, teens, or adults. You can also choose to receive or not receive a weekly newsletter from Tubi under notifications. Under the history and my list tab, you can continue watching things you're not finished with yet or watch things you've saved or favorited. If you choose not to create a free account, you will not have access to any of these options. Now back to the home screen. Scrolling down, you'll see content organized by row into categories. Clicking on live TV brings up a grid-like channel guide where you can select anything that is currently airing. Along the top of the guide are more ways to filter content. For example, you can change the guide to show featured content, recently added, national news, sports, and more. When you click to be kids, the whole home screen changes to reveal rows of content just for children. You'll see categories like family movies, top picks for kids, kid shows, Lego, and more. You can click on anything to add it to your watch list. To leave the kids area and return to normal Tubi, just click the Exit Kids button near the top left. And just like Pluto, you can't fast forward, rewind, or pause Live TV. Well, that's it. So now that you've seen what each platform looks like and you've compared the features, it's time for us to give our opinion on which is the better service in the Pluto versus Tubi debate. You can't go wrong with either service, and the choice really comes down to what you want to watch more of, curated TV in a live format, or on-demand movies and series. If you're looking for A-list movies and TV series that are well organized into a broad variety of categories and a good kid section, go with Tubi. If you prefer live TV and want a service that's going to make it easy to find something mindless to have on in the background, choose Pluto. Or give them each a try. Create a free account so that you can get the most out of each of them. And let us know what you think in the comments below. Which free streaming service do you prefer, Tubi or Pluto? Which has the better interface and content in your opinion? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all your latest news and reviews when they drop. And if you know someone who is interested in learning more about cutting the cord and streaming free TV, share this video with them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.